People fighting online, losing their minds. So we read the crazy crap they write and have a fun time. Well, get ready for this week's digital drama. Well, Amy is annoyed with her boyfriend, Sean, because he hasn't been brushing his teeth. So she calls him out on social media, not thinking there's going to be a problem with that. But then Sean's sister, she sees the post and she doesn't like how Amy is trying to publicly clown on her brother. So she sticks up for her brother and turns into a big old fight. I will play the role of the girlfriend, Amy. I'll have Virginia playing the role of Troy. Bird, you can be Debbie and Denny's will be Amber. Okay, here's what uh, Amy started off on social media. Okay, so I'm so sick of Sean not brushing his teeth. You know, he's a great boyfriend, but dude, your breath smells like garbage. LOL. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's going through this with our man. Am I right, ladies? Uh, that is so nasty. He's in his 30s. You shouldn't have to put up with that. That's so gross. And if you were my girl, I would always have clean breath for you, baby. Oh. Ew, that is so rank. I used to think Sean was hot. Not anymore. No offense though, Sean. And Sean, if you're reading this, brush your teeth, dude. Nobody wants to bang a guy who has yuck mouth. Okay, be nice, guys. I didn't post this to make him feel bad. I posted it because he needs to make a change, and nothing else seems to be working. I know when I get embarrassed, it usually helps that we make a positive change, and I'm trying to make a positive change to help Sean. Love you, babe. Here comes Debbie. Why would you post this? My brother treats you like a queen. Seriously, Amy, take this down now, or I'm coming over, and then I'll make you take it down. Oh. You have a lot of nerve talking about hygiene. You constantly look like you take a bath in Crisco. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, snap. Let me grab some popcorn. Sounds like Debbie wants to F up Amy. But seriously, Debbie, why doesn't your brother brush his teeth? That's so nasty. Troy, everyone knows you got in trouble for trying to talk to high school girls. The <sighs> fact that you're weighing in on anything is astonishing to me. They're hot. I'm <laughs> in, sorry. In case anybody wanted to see the news link where Troy got arrested for soliciting underage girls, here it is posted in the link below. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, I'm calling you. Please pick up your phone. I swear I didn't mean to make Sean look stupid. I just had so much wine tonight. Please pick up. Oh, okay. I'm going to post again. I Look, I love Sean more than anything on this planet. I would never try to humiliate him. Sean, I love you. Amy, I'm calling you and I'm DMing you. Please answer me. It's just the wine got the best of me tonight. I'm so sorry. Yeah, she's blaming on the alcohol. 15 minutes later, the post was deleted. Thank you for the screenshot. That's because Debbie went over there to kick her butt. <laughs> that is a mess. That's why she's not picking up. She's at your door. Mm. Uh, you shouldn't be calling out your boyfriend for having bad breath. Oh, my God. Not on social media. Not to that right? extent. No, not on no. social media. That's wrong. You mm. do everything you can before you go to social. <laughs> that is such a mess. You go to social on your way out the door. It's kind of messed up. Oh, because you can't re you can't come back from that. No. You, go, you, nah. go, you go to social media after the relationship's over. As it's ending, you can do that. That's <laughs> nah. gonna be a finishing move. Yeah. But he's not gonna want to be with you if you do that to him. Mm -hmm. Got another post here. Sandra's ranting about how women should never date a single father, and then of course a single father is reading this and he gets offended, and then it turns into a fight. Go figure. That's why it's on digital drama. I will play the role of Sandra. We will have Virginia playing the role of Gary. <laughs> Gary. 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 Bird can be Carla and Denny's. You'll play the role of Bonnie. Okay. Sandra says, take it from me. Don't date single fathers. I get that they have to be there for the kids, but they will always put you on the back burner and i use their kids as the excuse i deserve more than that fellas tell me about it girl the last single father i dated was great with his kids but never a time for me you need to prioritize me and what i bring to the table we are high value women you need to treat us as such stop using your kids as an excuse to treat us like we are lesser value than your children you ladies are disgusting Blasting men for being good fathers is what it sounds like you are doing. Stop being such stereotypical skanks. Oh, just stop being so dramatic, Bonnie. Nobody said that you can't be a good father. Carla and I are saying that we are women that bring a lot to the table. Look yes. at me. Yes, girl. <laughs>
You if, sound hot. If you're a single dad, you need to step up your game and treat us like the high shelf women that we are. It's not that hard. Uh, I am a single father, and this post makes me nauseous. I will never have my daughter play second fiddle to tramps like you. Sandra and Carla, you're setting women back decades. And P.S., you stuck-up ladies aren't hot enough to be this demanding. Oh, Oh, whatever, Gary. I never would give you the time of day anyway. For one, you seem like a hothead. Secondly, you look like a balding turd who can't grow a beard fully. (laughs) Plus, you have a kid. Ew. You are what we like to call undateable. If I was you, I'd just concentrate on spending your money on escorts and strippers. (laughs) Well, at least I'm not a washed-up succubus spewing hatred and garbage on social media. I'm raising my daughter not to hate men. Her mother got hit by a semi-truck. She's dead. Oh. Wow. I'm doing a great job raising her. Show some respect to us single fathered widows. <laughs> oh, boo hoo. Damn. We all have a sad story. <laughs> you chose to comment on my feed. Maybe you should stop picking fights with random women on social media and go raise that precious little waste of space that you're calling a daughter. Damn. You know she's going to be on the poll by age 18 Damn. anyway. You don't intimidate me at all, bitch. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Here comes Bonnie. I'm sure Carla and Sandra's employers would love to see how you conduct yourself on social media. Plus, they are so dumb, they put their work in their bio. Let's see if they still have a job by Friday. Screenshots taken and sent. Dang. I don't know if Sandra, I don't think they care. No, they don't care. They got nothing to lose. They sound like women with nothing to lose. I hope they have nothing to lose. I mean, if you're saying your daughter's going to be on the poll by 18 on a public forum, I don't think you care. No, you don't care. <laughs> you do not care. I uh, appreciate those screenshots. Thanks for sending them to us. If you see some good drama on social media, just send it to us, mail at kbjshow.com.